This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Wow, that's complicated. So if this is terrifying, go back and look at the other part of this lesson. Hopefully you did them correctly because we've already coded a lot of what we need here before. All right, let's see. Actions. Hmm. So let's start off like we did before with a draw square function. And perfect. All right, how many sides are there to a square? Four. So, oh, and they already set that to four. Now, I want to move forward, but how much do I want to move forward? Well, it looks like, just like the last several lessons, each side is 50 pixels. All right, when I move forward 50 pixels, what do I need to do? I'm going to need to turn uh, 90 degrees. Yep, that looks good. And then I want to hit the bottom of this, repeat it again, move forward 50, turn 90 degrees, move forward 50, turn 90, and that should have me draw the full square now. Okay, now once I draw this full square, I also want to draw a line of squares. So just like before, let's make a function, draw a line of squares. Draw a line of squares. Okay, and what's nice is we've done all of this before so far. Draw a line of squares, what are we going to do? Well, we want it to draw a square. So we are calling, we're saying, hey computer, when we run this function, draw a square. Zoop, the computer finds this, draw a square, and it's going to draw a single square. I would assume that these are just like in the other lessons, 50 pixels apart. So here to here is 50 pixels. When we draw a square, we're going to end up right back here. So I want to go forward, I want to jump 100 pixels forward, because this side is 50 pixels long, and then it's 50 pixels apart. 50 plus 50 is 100. So actions, jump, because I don't want to draw while doing this, 100 pixels forward. Then what am I going to want to do? I'm going to want to draw a square, okay? And then once I draw that square, I'm going to jump again to draw this square. So instead of doing that three times, right, because I want to draw a square, jump, draw a square, jump, draw a square, I am going to use a loop and just say, zoop, zoop. I can just say three times here, and then I don't have to write it actually three times. We're going to test this. So when run, what do I want to do? Draw a line of squares, because then draw a line of squares, the computer goes, what? Finds this. Oh, okay, three times I'm going to draw a square, zoop, runs this code, once it's done running draw a square, zoop, it goes back here. I then jump forward, hit the bottom of my loop, loop around again. Second time through, I draw another square, zoop, hit the bottom. Once I do all of the drawing, I go, right, I go zoop, three, four, all sides are drawn. Now I go to this line, jump forward again, zoop, hit the bottom of my loop, and finally draw that last square and jump. Let's test this. But uh awesome. And then just like before, what do I want to do? Oh, well, I'm going to want to turn around and then draw, well, this is another line of squares. So should I, hmm. Well, before we use the function uh, draw staggered squares, so let's do that again and see what that gets us. Right, because this is upward squares and this is downward squares. So let's do draw uh, staggered squares. Okay, that's the function we did in the last level. And what I'm going to do in that is just like I did in the last level, I'm going to say, okay, what should this do? First, let's draw a line of squares. Once we draw a line of squares, you can already see we're going to end up right here. So I'm going to then turn all the way around, and to do that, I can just say 180 degrees, turn all the way around, and then just like I did in the last level, I want to draw another line of squares. Okay. And so this will run. Now, instead of calling, asking draw a line of squares to run, we're just going to ask draw staggered squares to run, because this will draw that full line, will turn 180 degrees around, and then we'll draw another whole line of squares. Let's draw a line of squares, zoop, right here, and it repeats three times drawing each square. 
So draw staggered squares uses draw a line of squares twice because we draw this line of squares, then we turn around, and then we draw a line of squares again, zoop, this line. Let's test so far. This is tricky. All right, so far so good. It looks like these are 50 apart, so this is looking somewhat familiar at this point. What if we actions mm, jump? No, I want to turn first, turn 90 degrees to the left though, and then jump forward 50, and then I would want to turn left again. and then draw staggered squares again. I'm not sure what this will do, let's test it out. Oh, nope, definitely not. So, instead of jumping 50, let's jump all the way to the bottom of this square and jump 100. Instead of just jumping to here, let's jump to here. Aha. Aha. Okay, well then, hmm, I'm going to want to do this again. So I'm going to want to jump forward by 100. And then, no, I want to turn left, jump for. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to be repeating myself. Right? Because I'm going to want to, at the end, I want to turn left by 90. I want to actions jump forward by a hundred and then I want to actions function draw staggered squares oh I'm gonna need to turn left again So I'm repeating myself if you look at this, right? Draw staggered square, draw staggered square. Oops, I just left some code behind. But regardless, these lines are repeating themselves. And then I can even say this is too, because once I'm all done, it doesn't matter if I also turn left and jump forward. As long as I don't draw again, the image will be the same. So to keep the code short and nice looking, let's just use a repeat by three. And now let's see what we got. Ta-da! Oh, that one is tricky. Look at all that code we just wrote. But we built up to it slowly. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.